watching the stream right now. So we're just talking, we're just commentating for the footage. <laughs> it's all, it's all, whatever, it's all right. Commentating practice, right? Yeah. I don't really care. All right, so Smashville game one. <clears throat> I don't really know much about, uh, I mean, stage preference for either of these characters, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure like what I'd like to counterpick against um, Alamar. I feel like I would like platforms, personally. Be able to like, cause he's campy. I'd like to be able to like get on a different plane, a, a vertical plane for him. And um, Smashville's has got a lot of open air, and I don't know if I would like it or not. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but it seems like Martha has no problem forward airing through all the Pikmin. Yeah. Okay. Back throw strong. Wow. The down be the whistle thing or whatever. Yeah, he can use it to turn around, and it also um, that also uh, shuffles the Pikmin order. Yeah, and I don't I don't know all the. Um, it's been explained to me many times, um, but I always forget the the rules, how how the reordering goes with the whistle. Um, I kind of just, I kind of just try and pay more, most attention to the color that's on his head, um, you know, the one that I'm dealing with right now, <laughs> um, and just kind of watching which one, yeah, just dealing with that, yeah, basically. Yeah. But back to what I was saying, it's, uh, it's like, yeah, so when you can do that, just like, kind of waste time and let those things get stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also can be really annoying to edge guard because it the multi hit refreshes every frame, or I don't know if it's every frame, maybe every other frame, but it's enough to be annoying. Um, and if you mess up, uh, like, like I often try to take ledge because uh, you know maining Wario, like uh, a lot of my stuff isn't very uh, my edge guarding options against Olimar coming up from that angle like don't really cover my body um, disjointedly they're all they're typically pretty negatively disjointed like the Nair is so I kind of rely on the legend Mint's ability and if I mess up my timing on when he's gonna come up with it and grabbing the ledge like uh, you know I kind of only get one attempt and it can be kind of annoying but I, I'm, I may be able to find some kind of a better uh, uh, edge guarding strategy against him. Sephiroth uh, Getting a little lead here, first time in the set. I think he can totally do this. Uh, this seems like Martha actually might have an advantage in this matchup. Oh, okay, nice forward smash. I like that Alomar can do that. I think it's cute. Me too. I mean, it's good. But yeah, at first you kind of feel like, oh, it's so jank. But then again, it's like, dude, Sheik throws needles off stage. Like, nah. Like, it's just different. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, he gets away. Good roll. Uh huh. Get on the ledge. Uh huh. Didn't matter. Got it. Game one. Going to Stefaroth. I'll uh. I'm gonna update that score. Oh, not too. All right. <coughs> First cream soda I've had in a long time. It used to be in my vice, <laughs> so I cut it out. <laughs> and I saw him in the cooler today. I was like, mm, "Today's the day." I had a beautiful morning. Yeah, I saw that weather. It was it's wonderful. Yep, uh, it's game two. Steph's off up one. 
Alright, yeah, Steph just zoning him out pretty, or dealing with his zoning pretty well, just uh, spamming that forward air, just cutting through the Pikmin. Yep, yep, he knows. That's good, maintaining maintaining his distance, just letting him throw the Pikmin and just slicing him away. Yep, just beating him up. And what, what's Pik what's Alomar going to do? Just keep pulling more, like he can't really deal with that. He can throw more Pikmin to get swatted again. Some characters are better at swatting the Pikmin away than others. Mars seems particularly good at it, because it's already part of Mars' game plan anyway, to kind of, you know, not not always, but against some matchups, like, you know, throwing up a wall of forward airs is super, super threatening if you're maintaining your distance. <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly how you should be playing this matchup. He's doing it really well. There we go. Nice, nice tipper. Even stocks. Could have got more off that. There we go. You think? <clears throat> Just because he's doing more? Yeah. See, there's. I see where you're going with that, but I feel like Marth has it easier because. Like, he's not really putting in a whole lot of work there. He's just kind of keeping a wall up. And he's mostly spamming the same move to, to, to keep that wall up, you know? Um, as long as he just maintains, you know, an intelligent spam of that move, like, um, it's not a whole lot of work, actually, I think. I think um, Joden is going to have to do a lot more here to get around that wall of forward airs. Because um, Olimar's primarily, you know, the... He's, he wants to camp, and it's not really working right now. You know? It's kind of shutting all that down. Yeah, good down there. Yeah. Yeah, in a way, because he's still got more Pikmin to go, right? You know, and he twists them back. Kind of. What I would like to see from um, Olimar then is um, he's got to rely a little less on his his Pikmin since they're not really working. He's got to start running in and baiting out those Marth forward airs um, and I, I think getting underneath him and maybe baiting out some kind of downer like that. There you go, exactly like that. Um, and if he needs to, because uh, we noticed like Stephros doing a lot of full jump forward airs. Um, if you can manage to get underneath him during like even a short hop and shielding uh, an aerial, he could uh, narrow out a shield. Um, Olimar is that pretty fast narrow out a shield, a multi-hit, and uh, he can combo off that pretty well. So, yeah, good, good shit to Stepperoth.